Olive Telecom uh, is essentially a technology company which believes in innovation. Uh, this company started five years ago uh, as a joint venture with Hire, uh, wherein we were doing essentially the telecom uh, operator uh, driven products, uh, which were essentially at that point in time CDMA. And telecom uh, and Olive Telecom now is a brand, as you know, uh, which is into conversions devices, into mobile telephonic devices like CDMA, GSM, and uh, we are pretty much focused company on technology and R&D, and we are into a business of 3G as well in a big way. So our portfolio for 3G is also ready, and we're just waiting to rock and roll. Well, 3G is going to have a substantial impact on the Indian market because everybody in this country has heard of internet, but people are still not connected enough. So 3G is going to enable them with high-speed data services uh, on both the GSM side in terms of HSDPA, HSUPA. It's already happening on the CDMA side through eVideo, and uh, I think it's going to be a huge revolution, 3G. We differentiate through quality and innovation. So for us, you would have seen what we have launched so far. Uh, our, each product has a story around it. Each product is uh, very innovative in terms of the feature sets, in terms of the value for money the people get, in terms of the value-added services that we bundle on the devices. So I think for us, innovation is the way to go. Technology is the way to go for us. Our target user group is essentially youth who wants to experience uh, you know, all sorts of social networking. He wants to experience uh, data. He wants to experience streaming uh, at affordable prices. So for us, youth is a very, very key market. It's, it's a very key segment for us here. Yeah. Well, yes. Uh, for example, uh, we launched our connected uh, 3G network. So it's been a, it's been a great uh, story for us. Uh, for us, also, the uh, if you've looked at uh, what we've launched on the triple SIM device, it's essentially for users uh, who are working in different conditions, so they, they can use both uh, the technologies which are prevalent in this country right now. Uh, a lot of business people have, uh, you know, uh, used this device and they are buying it like, and we are stocked out on, on the device that we launched. So. Uh, while we focus on youth, it's not that we don't have devices for business people. Uh, Olive will be positioning some of very interesting convergence devices based on Android platform. Uh, you'll see not only the smartphones, you'll also be seeing some uh, other high-end devices which will be for business users. We want to be respected as an uh, innovation company, as a technology company. For us, obviously, Volumes do play a big role, but selling quality products is something that we want to focus on. Uh, obviously, in terms of the revenue, uh, we are looking at doing a billion dollar revenue by 2012. Uh, we are already working with 28 carriers globally, and we are one of the only company from India which is truly global. I mean, uh, we are not uh, box movers from China. We we we. Uh, believe in creating products. We believe in, uh, you know, innovate, innovating very nice devices which people will love. So that's what we are. We want to be known as someone from India who went out and, and created a brand. I mean, normally we've seen a lot of people from outside coming to India and creating brands here, but we'll be known differently. And we already are recognized by Opcos, yeah, the telecom operators, and we are looking at now uh, doing all these things in the open market and let the consumer know that we are behind those devices which operators have been launching. Absolutely, I mean, CDM is uh, very close to my heart because this is what we started building the business on. And for us, CDMA is a technology which is a very, very fine technology and a very, very uh, solid technology uh, with data throughputs being, you know, uh, very key 
feature in CDMA technology. So for us, uh, CDMA is a very, very key market. I mean, uh, obviously we are doing some wholesale tailor-made products for carriers right now. And uh, we are also launching about six devices in the open market. So which means it will give freedom to the consumer to choose the, uh, you know, the carrier. So on the open market devices, you will find those devices will work on all the networks uh, available here in CDMA, Tata or a Reliance or an MTS. Yeah. I would not agree completely on that. If we go and look around today, I think you will find over 100 devices on CDMA side. Obviously, GSM has a bigger ecosystem, but I think the technology vendors like Qualcomm are, are doing their best to promote the CDMA open market business here. Yeah. And, and they are the ones who have initiated this uh, project which is called OMH, Open Market Handsets. So I think uh, kudos to them, they have done a great job. And, and I, 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 I mean everybody tells me that this ecosystem is uh, going down or may phase out, but I, I have my doubts. I think CDMA is still a technology which is a very solid, pure, uh, technology-driven technology, which is, which is like, I, I think it's still got a lot of potential on the data side. Absolutely. I mean, that's what I'm saying. So we will launch, we'll be launching six devices on CDMA and eVideo, uh, which will be purely open market devices. So, so like if you want to buy one and you want to choose your operator, if you are happy with the Tata, for example, you will just pick up a Tata RUIM card, put it with the device, it will work like a GSM device. So that's what OMH is. Let me, let me put it simply. For us, I think technology is the backbone of our business. Uh, for us, technology is something which drives our business. We've had uh, <clears throat> two joint ventures in China for our R&D on technology platforms on both uh, CDMA 1X and eVideo, and then we have the other one on GSM and HSPA. And now we have a new company in India called Q Innovations. So Q Innovations is focused on technology platforms from uh, the technology leaders like Qualcomm and some other people. Uh, and I think for us, technology is, is something which drives our business completely. Well, for us, yeah, for example, uh, it was very difficult to control the sales team. So now we have, for instance, implemented salesforce.com, which gives us a 360-degree view of the, the sales staff, what, what they're doing. Uh, we've also, in our company, you know, uh, we're working on the balance score card, so which gives us each individual is a profit center. So end of every, mo every month, we know who's performed what and whether or not they achieved their targets. So uh, we, 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 we believe in technology through and through. I mean, not only on our products, but even in the day-to-day -day operations of our company. Our expectation from my CTO, for example, is to make sure that only a quality product is launched in this country. Also, the expectation is to ensure that in all the devices that we launch, there should be a minimum feature set and then very high quality software uh, in terms of VAS applications. So I think this is what uh, the job of my CTO is. Our IT team uh, makes sure uh, that all the systems and processes are followed and um, that the people do what they're supposed to do. Well, I think for us, we have to balance both the things and, and I think since technology has been helping us in, in uh, evolution of the company to where we are today from last five years, uh, there is a board which sits and decides on whether or not a particular technology needs to be implemented or no. But uh, in most of the cases, I think, uh, I think the technology team wins because they, they make the finance guys understand that it's going to help you in the long run. So I think for us, these investment decisions are taken by the board. There are members sitting there who have a discussion on this and then uh, based on uh, you know, what comes out, decision is taken.